cost control section. So thanks to everybody who has made this far in this course and has just entered in the cost control section. So in this cost control section, we will be talking about around uh, six items and uh, those six items includes uh, uh, cost allocation tax, AWS tag editor, trusted advisor, uh, then we have EC2 launch types and uh, saving plans, uh, and then S3 cost savings, and AWS budget, budget and cost explorer. And uh, S3 cost saving is going to be the, I think, the longest lecture in this section. So we will be here beginning with the cost allocation tax. So let's, uh, uh, let's talk about the cost allocation tax. So uh, as we know, uh, we can tag resources and the reason we do is that uh, uh, so that we can compare which one relates to one another, but we can also use these tags for cost allocation. So uh, first uh, cost allocation and uh, uh, first uh, like uh, end point. So uh, they are just like tags in point. Are, uh, so like using cost allocation tags, we can enable detailed costing costing reports and they're just like tax, okay? But now when we look at the billing reports, they will show up an additional columns which will uh, allow us to like divide our data more specifically. And uh, there are two types of cost allocation tax. The first one is AWS generated cost allocation tax, uh, which is automated, auto, uh, which is like automatically applied to a resource you create and it starts with the prefix AWS. Uh, for example, AWS created by, so they are not, AWS column created by so they are not applied to the resources created before the activation of these tags. Now you also have user tags. So those are the tags that you create you your user and uh, they start with the prefix user uh, user column forward slash uh, user column and uh, are now cost allocation tags just appear in the billing console not anywhere else and it takes about 24 hours for the tags to show up in the reports. So it is important for you as a solution architect to have a tagging strategy uh, in your AWS account, in cross accounts. And so that when you look at your billing reports, you can group all the data by the tags that you need. And that's it for very simple, uh, but it's, it's, it's that all you need to uh, know for the exam uh, for the cost allocation tags. And I will see you in the next lecture.